Hey. Leave with a spread cause I'm cold. Petty ass bitches, I'm dodging. Okay. Rugged that Louis, that goose. Cut the whole pep up and loose. Making this video because I got uh, so much interest or whatever on uh, the DRZ, like the conversion. Everybody was asking me like how I did it and everything. I mean, I really don't know where to start. I wanted a street legal two stroke. So uh, I was looking for two strokes in my area and I found one and I traded my, uh, my four wheeler for it. it was a TRX 400. But um, yeah, so the DRZ I think it was like a 2003 and the RM is a 2001. And the conversion, I mean, it's actually pretty straightforward. You do have to cut the frame. It's really dirty right now. I guess that's where I'll start. But um, you have to cut the frame because where the DRZ has an oil reservoir as the tank, you see I cut the tank so the pipe would be able to fit and um, weld it in the, the uh, supports and stuff. Yeah, I got bolts and stuff missing. But I welded in the supports and everything for uh, the two-stroke. It's really dirty and stuff right now. I mean, I just recently got it to where it's rideable. But, yeah, everything is kind of just zip-tied. And you see, that's one of the big things that was hard was getting this two-stroke pipe to work because the radiators mount so far down compared to the two-stroke frame. But, um... Yeah, okay, so it was a 2001 RM, and this is a 2003 DRZ, and uh, a lot of the stuff bolted right up. So, like, the that's the entire subframe, seat, and tank, everything is from the RM, even the front forks. The front forks is actually a straight conversion. I mean, they go right on, and you just have to mod the wheel spacer but yeah i mean that everything bolted right up it had the same uh front size rotor and everything so that was like literally the easiest part of the swap the hardest part of the swap was getting the pipe to work with the radiator and we kind of had to beat the hell out of the pipe i'm gonna i'm still gonna fix it up but yeah see i had to really dent the pipe to get it to fit as i was fitting everything up I didn't really take into consideration that the radiators would be so far down. The sprocket's way off, so to get the chain to line up, you have to really scoot the motor over and grind everything to make it fit, basically. But uh, the uh, subframe basically bolts right on to the DRZ. So you can have this whole rear section and seat for a DRZ. You just buy the subframe, and I really don't know about the air box. That's still the RM airbox. I got everything to work for it. But, um, yeah, the only problem, they literally bolt right up, which is crazy because, I mean, it's a freaking, basically a straight swap. But anyways, the only problem was this bolt on the left side, you had to really, like, stretch it down to get that bolt to line up because it sits basically, like, about probably a half inch higher than where it's supposed to be so you kind of have to like have somebody sitting on it and you have to yank this down and put the bolt in and uh here's the uh mounting for the rear subframe which actually like i said everything lined up good the only thing here too it was too tight so you had to stretch it out to get it to fit on there and another problem i don't think you would just be able to buy this whole air box set up and have it work with the uh drz because even right now it's pressing on i don't know if you can see in there let me see there it is so uh in the it's pressing against the rear shock uh rear shock gas thing or whatever like i said nothing's bolted down <laughs> but uh, yeah this thing comes back further on here than on the RM it kind of comes straight from here instead of back so it's pressing right on the air boot but uh yeah I don't know if it would be able to just bolt right on to the DRZ because 
the DRZ head is higher so your carb is probably going to be up in here somewhere so it wouldn't line up so you could probably get something to work I don't know but yeah that's that another thing people was asking about was the tank so all right how I got the tank to work you can see here on the bottom it's really really melted because you kind of have to take a heat gun I use the torch but uh, you take a torch or a heat gun and uh, kind of heat it up the whole inside and uh, real real lightly you get it to where it's starting to smoke a bit and then you just push it down on the tank because the problem let me try to get this up here the problem was once you would try to set it on the DRZ frame this the back of it would just be setting up like maybe that high from the frame so you have to melt it you see I melted it probably it's probably sitting down like honestly like six inches lower than what it was on the RM so I mean it's really low compared to what it was on the RM but you had to melt it because for one these uh let me see these uh bars right here I don't know what they're called but this part of the frame was uh on the RM they come basically from here down and uh or I don't remember if it was forward or backward anyways there's like a on here you can see let me see oh, I can't see let me pull this in the dark I can't see anything but uh yeah okay so you see these little tabs are really burnt. They stuck out kind of like nipples, I guess you want to call it. It's the best thing I can think of. But yeah, they stuck out. So you have to melt everything to be able to fit inward and then melt the inside of the tank. Honestly, you probably pull that thing in like four inches compared to stock. And you just have to heat it up. It's kind of repetitive. But you heat it up, push it on the tank, let it press down a little bit, and then let it cool down because it'll harden to that shape and you got to just keep redoing it until you get to, like the desired uh, shape that you want I guess I mean all in all it's really a pretty straightforward slop it's, it's really not too hard not as hard as I thought it would be I've always wanted to do like a motor swap so it was like on my bucket list so yeah I mean it's kind of looking real clapped out I'm gonna get new plastics graphics and everything for it you see like a lot of the bolts aren't even in and everything but yeah I got um this is like my little light hookup so that's how to turn on the rear light and this is for my headlight it really dead it's completely dead but um yeah I'll show you the bike that I got everything from all right, so sitting back here in the backyard is what's left of the RM. Kind of just sitting there. I think I could have actually got the swing arm to work too, but the dude that I got it from, like the whole caliper bracket and everything and the caliper mounting bracket is just kind of beat up on there. So I really just didn't even feel like messing with it, but everything should actually line up for that to work on the... Uh, drz2 maybe even the braking system i don't know i could probably get the rear spring to work but i the reason why i didn't mess with it is because the frame here this is too close to would be too close on the frame basically but yeah you can see i chopped that from the rm and basically welded this section onto the drz and that's how I did that swap so yeah I mean it's pretty straightforward I could probably even get the rear wheel in front I know I could get the front wheel to work but I could probably get the rear wheel to work on the DRZ2 and have a dirt set up so it basically turn it right back into an RM so 